Hello everyone, it's Matasna Guru Royce again from Nomad Kotlin Combat Fitness. How are you all doing today? Um, I hope all is well. You know, I recently shared with you our Platform 7, right? And part of Platform 7's um, origination, how it came about, was from observation of some of the stuff that, um, I shouldn't say stuff, the, some of the techniques within the FMA uh, world is taught at the beginning. Now, in Bikini, one of the first forms that you learn is known as uh, Imang Sugun, which is five attacks. It's part of the 64 attack system, okay? It's a simple format, four diagonals and a thrust, and uh, generally stepping in what's known as an open triangle, or also known as a V-step, right? So it looks like this. The monks are good, five attacks. Chamber up, right? In the step, angle one, right? You stop, step in and step back out, angle two, right? Step in, step back out, angle three, step in, step back out, angle four. Then, notice how I have the tip facing forward. I'm maintaining the tip of the weapon towards my opponent for a, a low line upward thrust, or forward thrust. <clears throat> Again, it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna load up again on our right shoulders in our Kali stance. We're gonna step forward in an angle one, angle two, angle three, angle four, that low and thrust again. Again, it is angle one, angle two, angle three, angle four, thrust. Now you notice that I just switched the footwork to what's known as the X pattern of footwork. Right? So you could drill this in multiple ways. Traditionally, you have your open triangle. You have your X pattern of footwork. And the X pattern of footwork reversing you going counterwise, alright, alright, angle one, angle two, alright, angle three, angle four, and thrust. Notice I'm only doing four steps and then a fifth attack to thrust. That is the way that it's designed. You're, you're, you're attacking and defending, you're attacking and defending, you're attacking and defending, you're attacking and defending, and then you surprise them with a thrust. Okay? Again, angle one, angle two, angle three, angle four, and then your number five thrust. From here, you have the option to reload really fast and go right in, two, three, four, five, all right? The other option you have is an umbrella, right? Angle one, angle two, Angle three, angle four, five, umbrella. Now you reload. Most people prefer the umbrella because now you have the defensive action. This allows you to also grab or clear, pull your opponent in, and then their thrust. All right? Again, that is angle one, angle two, angle three, angle four. This the number five thrust, which is the number which winds up with, uh, if you know the Piki Tercia Abisidario, 1 through 12, the number 5 is also a low line thrust. Okay? Now, when you train with a partner, I'm showing you techniques because of the uh, current situation, um, you can do your air form like this, you can do your regular, you know, simple switch step if you want. Step in lunge in, 
or an attack. Or you could go reverse step it. All right, so again, when we're talking about the uh, five attacks, then we have your one and two, right? Your three and four, and the thrust, and then you can umbrella over, right? You can do this in various football formats, right? I mean, we just went over that just a little while ago. Now, when you are clacking, right, when you're going to train with a partner, it's a little bit different, right? You want to... Um, be careful with each other. You could one, two, three, four, and when you thrust, you thrust away from your opponent, uh, from your training partner to avoid injury, right? And then you umbrella. The other option is to um, turn the thrust into a slash. This is pretty common. You go angle one, you angle two, you angle three, you angle four, and then you come through with the slash, right? And then you reverse it. Reverse angle one, reverse angle two, reverse angle three, reverse angle four, and again, reverse number five, right? So cutting back across, all right? Depending on your training partner, your weapon will be slightly up or slightly down, or if you establish it, if you're the same height, or um, you can both clack up high or clack down low. Depends on how you how you're training and it would be good to establish that in the beginning with your training partner to avoid accidentally crushing each other's fingers because you're both at, the same, at a similar angle. One goes up, the other goes down, and then you smash each other's hands. So you want to avoid that, of course. It's not a very pleasant feeling. Um, I mean, I pretty well. Okay. Um, and of course, when you get used to doing this, right, with a training partner, right, and you want to get a little bit better, but you don't want to keep going through the same old rigmarole, right? Then you can do your side step, your side step, right? Your side step, your side step, and then your side step, and then you reverse it. Your side step, 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 right? Then you can also do your cross step, right? Cross step, right? Where you uh, rotate completely over, right? Cut across, right? This is your 180 cross step, also known as your end footwork. And then you reverse it. You reverse it. You reverse it. Reverse it. You reverse it, right? You can do the same thing with a side step and do a 180, right? Two, three, four, five, and then reverse it. One, two, three, four, and then five. Now, whether you do the side step or cross step, you could actually do this moving forward or moving back or to retreat. So you could then move forward and back on that side step with each other to get now a more um, active role of moving with your training partner and doing more than just stepping one and two, of course. Then later on, you, you, you start randomizing steps. You move with your training partner. One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then you work with your training partner, stepping around randomly, feeling it out like you're sparring or engaging in a Right, but uh, I do recommend drilling the basic footwork first, but it really does help when you're doing your sparring training, right? And you gotta move, you shuffle, right? Switch over, right? Or switch over and move with your um, with your partner, all right? Again, and that's it for now, right? Um, again, five attacks is a pretty simple platform, but you can do a lot with it and have fun with it. Right? Um, when you're at home and there's not much to do because you're confined due to a crisis, well, you have a lot of time on your hand, right? So feel free to um, explore the art, right? Take care, everybody. Be safe, stay healthy, 
eat properly, eat well, and uh, get plenty of rest. Okay, guys?